We're going to first start in the Kami library. And with this activity, we're going to use the eight parts and we're going to do it as a group because we want to help our students understand the process of the eight parts. So again, we're going to kind of slowly scaffold them so they're able to be successful to do this activity all on their own. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Kami library and I'm going to grab this eight parts of speech template. I'm going to take this over to split and merge. So I'm going to click on this little button right here and then click on split and merge and open it right into split and merge. Once I'm ready, I'm going to hit the next button. I'm going to get rid of this page right here. And now I am ready to go ahead and export this into Kami. Once I export this into Kami, I can add my fun little image and then I'm ready to assign this to all of my students. So again, I can come in, maybe I go to add media, I can add it from my computer. I could also take a funny picture. I could also insert it from my Google image search. So again, you, you have a lot of different options. Now, because I use eight parts a lot, I already have some resources in my annotation bank. And your annotation bank can be used over and over again. So you're able to save those different resources for your students. So we're gonna go ahead and maybe grab either this one or maybe this one. Uh, let's do the cat. So again, I just put this right here on my document. Once I'm ready, I'm ready to assign this to my students. You can assign to Google Classroom two different ways. If you use Canvas, Microsoft Teams, or Schoology, you're going to go into those platforms and find this in your Google Drive to assign. So I'm gonna click on the little paper here and create an assignment. This only works again with Google Classroom. So the other ones you have to go to the learning management uh, platform. So I'm gonna go ahead and name this uh, eight. Then we're gonna put parts. And then I can decide if I wanna make a copy for every student, which is what I wanna do. I can add in feature controls. So my students, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn all of the tools off. Um, even copy and paste down here and I'm going to hit OK. So again, I'm going to turn off all of the tools and I'm going to show you why. Next, you're going to choose the class that you want to assign this to. Once I'm all set, it's going to assign to my students and I'm going to hop over to my Google Classroom. My students could open up the page. Again, I took away all of those features. So if they go into their Google Classroom, they will not be able to edit the document at all. So again, if you have your students and they just wanna have it up, they're able to go into their uh, Google Classroom, go to that assignment, and then they're able to hit open with Kami. Once they open it up, again, all of their tools over on the side are going to be um, gone, so they're going to not be able to use those tools. So there, all of them are gone. So again, they're just going to be able to watch. And that's what I want them to do because we're going to have a class discussion about what we should be adding into our eight parts. So I'm going to open it as a teacher. When I open it as a teacher, I'm going to see class view, which means I'm going to be able to see all of my students at the exact same time. And all that means is I can give feedback really quickly to my students. However, because we're doing this as a class project first, I'm gonna go up here to this green button right away. And we're going to brainstorm. We're gonna come up with verbs that describe this little picture right here. And so again, I can grab my text box and I might change my font. So let's change this to black and I might come over with some words, right? That, that might be verbs, adverbs, uh, prepositions. So again, my students are going to help me brainstorm and we're going to uh, come up maybe like, oh, you know, like that's cute. Okay. So that might be our title for, um, kind of our our picture here we're going to come up with uh, maybe some nouns adjectives so again as a class we're working on all of these different activities to create our verbs adverbs um, conjunctions all of those different things that we really really want our students to focus on so maybe for this one i could do four 
Oh no. So as you are kind of thinking, students again are coming in, typing in all of these different areas. And then once you have all of these different areas showed or um, completed, then what you're going to do is you're gonna push this out to your students. So again, your students are going to brainstorm with you. Once I have this all done, I hit update all, update, and every single student is going to get that update on their page. So again, they didn't have any of the tools. So first, I wanted us to do a class discussion. I open it up in my Google Classroom, and what I can do is I click on that green button right here. Let's go back, because it opens up class view first. You click on this green button right here, and it takes you to that template file. So I can have our class discussion. I can hit update changes, and look, all of my students get those updates. And so if I wanted to slowly scaffold this away, now my students can pick their nouns, their adjectives, right? Or I could do that again using that update work bu bu uh, button, update all, and all of those updates go to my students. Then what happens is my students come in here. Again, they don't have the tools yet, so I would need to go up here when I'm ready to assessment settings, click on it, and click on feature controls. Once I'm here, I can turn on all of the tools that I need, and I could leave some of them off again if I wanted to. I hit OK, and right away my students have the tools now. They can come in and they're able to write their story using the words that we brainstorm together as a group. So again, if I wanted my students to come up with different categories, we could brainstorm together, and then I could slowly start to say, okay, today you're doing nouns. We did all the other parts of speech, but today you're doing nouns. Okay, the next day, we're good at nouns, now you're gonna do adjectives as well. So again, you can slowly scaffold this away as you're working on eight parts with your students, and everyone's story might be a little bit different, and that's where you're able to use class view to see all of their screens at the exact same time, and you're also able to come in and give them that feedback. So I can come in and use the Cami stickers and let them know like, wow, you're doing a great job. I can also come up here to my annotation bank. I can save images, videos, audio files, and I can grab and drop these resources for my students on their screen. So if there's a student that really needs support I can grab an image that I had or an anchor chart or create my own resource, drop it on here and look, they can see the nouns. So then they can go, oh, it's a person place thing. So then I can come in and add those nouns onto this paper. To save to your annotation bank, you just click it, you click on this little box and then your annotation bank can be found right here where there's a box. So this can be again, a great way to scaffold or have classroom discussions, update the work, send it out to everyone.